skill produces confidence, which influences your decision-making speed, which influences God's timing in your life. Hello, singles that are ready to be married and looking for their spouse. We're Jesse and Irina Kaufman. Howdy. And we want to help you to get from single to married. The more that we believers think it's all up to God and um, we have no control, Mm -hmm. It's also the, is it, it, we found a correlation between how much a person of that thinking and mindset is often stuck and things aren't happening in your life. Yeah. So it's about a balance between the two, you know. So what how, if, if there's such a thing as God's timing, how do you speed it up? Can you speed it up? I say yes. Here's how. The speed of your decisions. Mm -hmm. The speed of your yes to God will speed up his timing. And so if your decision-making skills are slow, that's going to slow down God's timing, right? Mm -hmm. One plus one equals two. Yeah. Simple math here, okay? So what if you need to think about it, pray about it before making decisions? It's okay. It's good. However, we found is often the people that need to think things over all the time or lots and or pray about it often end up not making a decision. Mm -hmm. They stay in that mode of praying about it, thinking about it. And next thing you know, the 30, 40, 50 years, I even met a 60 year old bachelor mm -hmm. who was still waiting on God and praying and thinking about it. Yeah. Guess what? That praying about it and thinking about it doesn't actually get you married. Um, there is such a thing as praying for wisdom to make a wise decision. Yeah. Uh, that That's valid for sure. And so how do you sp uh, speed up your decision-making capacity? R l raise up your confidence. Mm -hmm. your, your level of confidence will indicate how fast you make a decision. And so if you're confident in a certain area, you're going to make snap, snap, snap decisions. Just look at the business world. That's a good, good example. Yeah. You know, uh, you're familiar with the business world, probably maybe even more than I you know, the, the millionaires and the billionaires, they're like, snap, snap, snap. Yes, no, let's do this. And they're just like, go, 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 chop, chop. And they're very confident in that area. Mm -hmm. How do they get confident? It's their skill level. Yeah. If you're, any area you're skillful in is going to directly influence the speed of your decision in that particular set area. Yeah. So if your confidence level in relationships or how to connect with a person, like real genuine heart to heart connection. I'm not talking about the cheap, flaky stuff that's out there. I'm like the real deal. Mm -hmm. You can see it and you can feel it. Once you learn how, that that is a skill that doesn't just happen, and your level of skill will be, your starting point will be what your parents may have taught you or didn't teach you. Mm -hmm. And then from there on, it's up to you to take it further if you, if you see that you need to grow it more. So how do you develop skill? Repetition. Yeah, you do over and over and over and over and over and over and over. You're good. good. You have something to share. Go yeah. For. So you know, as as we talk about this, what I was feeling is that you know you probably are not confident in your own decisions. You don't trust yourself, so it's easier to say, "God, you make decisions for me," right? And because you don't know your identity, you need to gr get better and master your identity. And who you are. And as Jess was mentioning, you need to start making decisions in your life, even small ones. And also keep the list of sprouts and victories that came up from that. So that way you can start seeing listen, I am making great decisions. I am capable of making great decisions. Your mindset is very big um, thing in this as well is well, what do you believe about yourself? Do you believe that you are capable of making great decisions and you are made an image of God and likeness of God? And if not, then you need to start reprogramming your mind in that area as well. A lot of those things, beliefs are going to creep in into your confidence level as well. So and then the uh, the skill of repetition. Yes, that, that's a whole different ball, new ball game. I should say it's like, uh, your your view of who you are and your identity mm -hmm. 
that will also de- you know play into your confidence level yeah and limiting beliefs and mindsets absolutely mm-hmm. will uh, do a number on your confidence level yeah and so there's also a lot to be said about learning new things Mm-hmm. and not just learning but actually applying them applying which them. brings me right back to square one about mm-hmm. application and repetition yes. you learn new information and then you apply it mm-hmm. on a repetitive practical level in your life over and over and you implement that implement that into your life until it becomes a natural skill set mm-hmm. so there we go it is easy it connects full circle again god's timing is intertwined with human choices and our decision-making speed. This speed of decision depends upon our confidence level. Our confidence level is in turn bolstered by enhancing our connection skills. In this case, skill produces confidence, which influences your decision-making speed, which influences God's timing in your life. And if you can reverse that as well, is that when you start making decisions, even small ones, you're going to start produce confidence, growing your skills, and that's going to continue, you know, cycling up like this, you mm-hmm. know, go up. Mm-hmm. Even, yeah, I like that. That's a good closer. Go, go, go find something to make a decision on that. You're going to do this mm-hmm. something new that you know you kind of feel, you kind of feel in your gut you need to move forward in. Make a decision, yes or no. Don't make it about right or wrong. Just move forward, and even if it's not the the most beneficial decision, mm-hmm. guess what? You still got feed, uh, data and feedback on okay that didn't work. So now you know, yeah. right? But until you make a decision, some things you don't know if it's going to work or not until you just like you know what? I'm just going to take a step of faith and walk this out and if it doesn't work well then uh, then i got one more thing to check off that didn't work yeah and celebrate that you actually took action and made decision even if it was not the right decision you made a decision it's worth celebrating that's right all right i have so much more to share but i guess we'll see you on the next video yes